It's cruise day. We are so dang excited to get on the fantasy today. My name is Chris. I'm Carrie. And we have two girls, Lindsay and Alyssa. They're getting ready right now. We're in a hotel room at the Hard Rock Hotel. We're so excited. We can't wait and we can't wait to bring you with us. We're mostly all packed. This is Lindsay, by the way. We're gonna go get some donuts at Voodoo Donut. We're super excited to start our cruise day. What better way to do that than fill up with a lot of sugar? And then our car is gonna pick us up from a hotel. We're staying at the Hard Rock Hotel at Universal Studios. And we've been here most of the week from since Tuesday, it's Saturday right now. And we had an amazing week. Looking forward to sharing all the fun with you guys today as we board the Fantasy, but we need to eat a little bit of food first. Lindsay just saw the universal orange sickle. She loves orange and vanilla popsicles. It's like one of her favorite things. All right, we are back in the hotel room. Check out what we got. Oh yeah. Carrie just got back from Emac and Bolio's. She got a couple of bagels. bagels with cream cheese. We had a lot of sugar yesterday and I probably should have just gotten something with eggs instead so I could have a protein. I was thinking like those egg croissants would have been good too. Yeah, but I just wanted something that wasn't sugar. Yep. I'll have a couple bites of that. I get it. Though. So you met Lindsay, but you haven't yet met our other daughter, Alyssa. Hi. Are you excited about the cruise? Yeah. Are you excited about these donuts? Yeah. All right, let's dig in. We're checking out the Hard Rock. We're about to get in our car. It may already be here. Got a little surprise for the girls. Yeah. Uh, a car. You guys ready? Yeah. That's our car. What? What? Are you serious? <laughs> I feel like Kevin in the second home alone. Grand Ole Yeah. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> is this a little extra? Um, probably a little. <laughs> this is awesome. I think we surprised them. I think so. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Have fun. So excited thank you. you. We'll see y'all soon. Yep. Right, thank, thank you. you. Oh my God. No. No, this is unreal. This is seriously unreal. What's it playing? Oh, it's Incredibles. So, best way to start a cruise? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, don't get used to it. Don't get used to this. This ain't happening again. I'm not. I'm not. But this is so crazy. So, we're being a little bougie. Always, always. We're having our water. You never and champagne, flutes. Cheers. can be super without them. Oh, I really like it slow. Thank what? you guys so much. It's you knocked down a crazy. Yeah, it's not, it's not expecting this at all. I'm still very surprised. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. I was not expecting this limo to be so big. Chris probably knew because he set it up. But I, I didn't know it was going to be this big. Yeah. Our driver said it was kind of an accident that we got this. Yeah, I think. And he said that he had just transported some Millers from the Fantasy to the airport in this limo and then he was picking us up to take us to the fantasy that's pretty crazy yeah this is definitely not normal for us but we had paid for this cruise for 18 months up to 2020 and then it was canceled so this has been paid for for a long time the cruise and so we wanted to do some extra splurges since it's kind of like we've just been waiting to go so here we are we're going Oh yes, 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 oh yes. Oh dang. There she is. I can't believe it. We just arrived at the port. We saw the fantasy and we're freaking out. We can't wait to get on her. It, she is huge. Finally getting on the fantasy after three and a half years. Oh, it's so cool to see the fantasy up close and in person, finally. You guys ready? Yeah, I am so ready. <laughs> she said we're there to sail. So much less stressful than when we had to test at the port. We're just like going right through. There you go. Yeah, it was yeah. Oh, yeah. crazy. You guys ready? Yeah. Here's Port Canaveral. Oh my gosh, we're boarding now. No worries. Perfect. Thank you. Cool. So we just met some people who've watched our channel before, the Parisi and Raj families, I think. Yeah, that, yeah but super fun to meet you guys and Oh, we're getting on board. This is really so exciting. Fast. It's been so fast. I know. Happy. We are getting on. I'm so excited. Okay, to you. Bye. Bye. We're getting on. Guys, we're getting on. Hi, welcome everyone. Hi. May we have your last 
last name, please? Miller. The Miller family is here. All right, Millers. You seem pretty excited. Are you ready? We are very excited. Okay, okay, Miller family. Let's get started. Come on in. Daisy Fantasy, please welcome aboard the Miller family. Hi, Jimmy Gilpin. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I, I'm obsessed with them. I haven't gotten them the, what's it, the pretzel ones yet, but oh. still thinking about it. Nice. And the first thing we suggest is to check into your assembly station. Wow. <laughs> Carrie loves the stairs on Disney Ships. I do, because it makes me feel like I can eat as much dessert as I want. We're seeing the Disney Cruise Line port. We are on the hunt to find Oceaneers Club because we want to check out the open house, Check out all the kids and teens clubs, and then we're gonna get some lunch at Animator's Palette. So one of the things that we were hoping to see today was the Wish here ported at Port Canaveral, but it's not here, it's at Castaway Key today. But this is the setup. June 29th, Disney is gonna do a christening of the Wish, and this is the setup and the staging for it. Looks like it's gonna be a big production. Wish we were here to see it, but we will be on the fantasy in the Caribbean when that happens. Smells so good. I don't think I really recognized it when we first came in on our last cruise, but now it just smells like vacation and cruise. It's just, it's just the smell of the ship. Yep. It smells so good. We went to Oceaneers to try to do an open house, but they apparently didn't open for another hour. So I think right now we're going to get lunch and then check out all the open houses for the kids and teens clubs. We're about to get to lunch. Animator's palate. We are hungry and ready to eat. We're here. We ordered our lunch at Animator's palate and it's just surreal actually being here oh my gosh it can't really get over it but i'm gonna i'm gonna try <laughs> um so last time when we went on the wonder we went to cabanas first that's what a lot of people love to do and it was fun and it was really beautiful because you got to sit outside and see all the beautiful views in san diego where we were this time uh, we chose to do the sit-down lunch at Animators, which other people have said is great. And I think we were really looking forward to the crab at Cabana's that we didn't love so much. So that was another reason we wanted to try something different this time. But it's just a great vibe in here and you have lots of interesting items to choose from. So we're really excited to have a tasty lunch. So Alyssa got started off with the Shirley Temple. Lindsay is being very adult and got iced tea. I've added... How many three, packets of sugar? Three. And I don't taste any more sweet. It takes a while for it to dissolve. You'll get used to this as you grow up. Carrie got a nice coffee. Lindsay got the beef empanadas as an appetizer. Alyssa just gave her her cornbread. I'm gonna try the chicken and seafood gumbo. I was just noticing, even already, the dining room is so much more full than when we cruised in October. I think one of the things that, as Karen and I were talking earlier, it was nice in October when we were on the Wonder, and it was low crowds, so there was almost no lines for anything, but it was also really low energy. Like the shows, it wasn't maybe even a quarter full. The, the dining rooms were not that full, so when they had like entertainment going on in the dining rooms, they're just, it didn't, the energy wasn't there that you'd expect on a Disney cruise. So I think we're gonna get that this time around, but that means it also comes with probably more lines, but I think we're okay with that. Appetizers were really good. I had a really basic salad. The girls enjoyed their empanada and soup, and our entree should be coming soon. Also, doing the sit down lunch on our first day versus going to Cabana's. I really love the slow pace that we're gonna have right now with this lunch. It's also kind of, Lindsay's stirring her iced tea, trying to get that trying to get that sugar to dissolve. It's also really humid here, unlike San Diego. So that's also part of the factor that way, why we chose to come to Animators instead of going to Cabana's today. Cheese, yeah. More cheese, always more cheese. Oh my gosh. That's an Italian pixie dust. Perfect, yes, I love it, thank you. <laughs> Alyssa got penne pasta without the goat cheese because she does not like cheese. Cheese is just a no for me. Mmm, that's really good. Our server said this is one of the best pastas that they serve. Yep. So I was just going to get a salad, but then I had to try it. So I'll, I'll give it a try too. It's really tasty. Thank you so much. My God. That looks great. Enjoy. Pleasure. Oh boy. Wow. Someone's excited. She loves the chocolate candies. <laughs> Mm. That is good. Is it good? That. What was that? Nice. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. 
This is Tita Nila. She's our server for lunch, and she's been amazing. <laughs> okay, so we tried those desserts. I carrot cake is one of my favorite desserts. This one was. It was good. I don't think it's cream cheese frosting, is it? I think it's it said lemon cream cheese frosting. It doesn't taste like cream cheese frosting. The sundae was delicious. The sail away sundae, that was for sure. Like I could probably eat another one. My salad, my pasta was delicious. Yeah. And I'm not saying this carrot cake was bad. It just wasn't what I thought it was hyped up to be. So I think sometimes you hype things up too much in your mind. We've heard people talk about how re how much better this carrot cake is than up at uh, Cabana's. And I think it was better than that, but it still could be better. Well, we finished lunch and now we're at Oceaneers Club to check out uh, the open house, see how the Oceaneers Club is different here on the Fantasy versus uh, the Wonder. So we're excited to see all they have here. So dad is going to try the famous hand washer. Did you like it, dad? That's super weird. Put your hands up, people are waiting. <laughs> Ugh. Mom, how did you like it? I don't know what I was expecting. I thought in my brain it was gonna dry your hands too, so I just kept waiting. But yeah, it was it was cool. You didn't read the directions, did you? I skimmed them. Wow. So on embarkation day at around 1.30, the kids clubs all open for an open house, which is I think the only time that everyone can come in and check out the clubs. So you definitely, we missed part of it last time we were on a cruise, we started too late, so we didn't get to see one of them. So you definitely want to try to come in if you want to check out the clubs early. We are going to check it out for you and you can see what we're going to show you. These clubs are so cool. They have like everything kids could want to have fun. This is the Oceaneers Club. There's also the Oceaneers Lab. That's the one we didn't get to see last time. But this is different from the Wonder. So it's neat that they all have different things to do on the different ship. This little area here is the theme to like Tinkerbell and all the ferries. Then they have Star Wars Command Post, which has a lot of interactive features. They have like a Starfighter simulator right here that doesn't seem to be working right now. The girls are really hoping to try that out, which I'm sure they'll be able to try later. Hopefully it's working before we leave and move on. This is the big open area where they have an LED dance floor. This is Andy's room, all Toy Story themed. You got RC right here. This looks like it's probably more for littler kids. They don't have the slinky dog slide like they had on the Wonder, which Alyssa is probably sad about. I'm also sad because we could I could have tried out the slide at the open house and I didn't realize you it. You didn't. I was hoping to do it this time. Yep. Well. This is Superhero Academy, all Marvel themed. Dark Dimension Defense. Oh, this is how you learn how to defend against the Dark Dimension, I think. We got some portal door. Oh. oh. That's cool. Ooh, Ooh that's uh, Thor's world. Portal door. I think that's nowhere. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, a nice beach. Hello there. What's up, Thor? All right. You have dark hair like my brother. Well, and this fourteen. It's almost green size. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Do you know where I live now? Uh, New Asgard. Yes, you know where it is. Yeah. Right. There. Ah. Norway. New Asgard. You must come visit me. And Superhero Academy, and there's all sorts of cool relics from the different superheroes. Ant-Man and Black Panther mask. You got the Tesseract right there. That is super cool. But it looks like the Starfighter Trainer Simulators are working. And I think the girls want to try their hands at it. Looks like you uh, select a mission. Looks like Endor. Oh, actually, no, that's uh, Ch that's Chewie's planet. The Wookiee planet. Sure. Lindsay's like, I don't care. I just want to have fun. Whoa! It's cool. It's like 3D. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Chewie. So far, we're seeing lots of fun things for kids to do here in Oceaneers Club. I think we're going to try to check out Oceaneers Lab and then head over to Edge and then Vibe. Because I think I remember the girls wishing Edge was bigger and that there was more to do there on the Wonder. So I think on the on the Fantasy, Edge is a lot bigger. There's more to do. And I'm really excited to see Vibe, to see all the things they can do there. I think also one of the reasons there wasn't a ton to do is because it was like right when cruising restarted. So they were limiting a lot of things. So yep. that I, I, if we went back on the Wonder now, it might not be that I think there'll be more kids to interact with. Yeah, that um, was the main problem. Yeah. There weren't very many kids. Yep. All right, now we're in a different area. You got a lot of Wii screens here. We can play the Wii. And then they have a whole other area here 
with another interactive dance floor and a whole bunch of areas that we're gonna keep exploring. Uh, and then you got explorer's room here. So it looks like you can navigate the ship. I just double checked in the ages for Oceaneers Club and Lab are ages three through 12. So since Alyssa is 12, she's able to come here and she can also go to Edge, which is the tween age club. So we'll show you that next after we finish looking around in here. And Alyssa is piloting the fantasy through the gates on the screen. That's super cool. And this is the animator studio. Looks super cool. You can practice drawing characters like you see on the screen there. This is really cool. That's so fun. We're getting ready to go and this makes my dad's heart happy. Lindsay's helping the little girl because she just did that. Lindsay's helping the little girl get started. So this was and is the Oceaneers Lab and it connects through the hallway of other really fun things to do to Oceaneers Club. So they're connected and they can go back and forth when they want. So some of you guys may already know this, but they're not doing the welcome show that they were doing last October when we went on the Wonder. So it was kind of fun to have that, but I'm kind of glad they've finished with that. And now they are just doing the sail away party. And so we're excited to see that in a couple hours. Right now we're just gonna continue exploring. We're gonna head to Edge to see what that club looks like here on the Fantasy. So we are actually looking for a room right now. It looks like it's open. 7570. And there is our key to the world cards. All right, we're going in. So much bigger than the inside room that we had last time. Here is our stateroom. Oh, we got lanyards. We got our silver Castaway Club lanyards. Yeah, now we have our own bag. I wow. Mean, we had awesome friends give us some before. Now we have three. We just need one more for you. We actually have a balcony this time. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow. So we have a front view of the, of the port here. Looks like they're moving people's luggage still onto the ship. We will see nothing but ocean pretty soon. Here's Port Canaveral. So excited to get out into some open ocean. I was just gonna say, maybe it's good that we did the inside stateroom before because now this feels huge. This does feel so much bigger. Compared to that inside stateroom, it's just gosh, huge. It's like two, three times bigger, probably two. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. The feel of there's outside right there, it just makes it feel uh, having natural lighting. We're super excited to be able to just explore a little more of the ship. I think we're gonna head to Edge next and then to Vibe. And then I think the girls wanna hit up the aqueduct. Hi! Hi! Hello! Hi. Go ahead. Whoa, this is a Wow. This is super cool. A lot more, oh my gosh, you guys have like a huge view of the ship out these windows. It's a lot brighter than the one yes. on, on Wonder. It's so dark in that one. This one's nice and well lit. Yep. Looks like they have another like dance floor, light up floor area here. And they have a media viewing area over here with a big screen and couches. Looks like they have video games there as well. Looks like they have foosball over here. And they have another area over here with full of games that you can pick from and play with other friends. Lindsay's just finished a game of checkers. <laughs> and they have a big old giant media viewing area here and more tables to like play games on. Lots of space to spread out in and have fun in. This is really cool. My name is Lindsay and Lindsay. I'm Melissa. Nice to meet you. Are you ready to have the best week of your life? Yeah. I don't think they heard you, what you told me about the elevator. Can you tell them? Oh, okay. So this is VIP edge. So only your card. You tap and you can come up here. Not even our keys work. So just, just you guys. This is the aqueduct. I can see the aqueduct. You can see people pass by. Alisa, you're going to be a hero. Uh -huh. And Lindsay, you're going to be a villain. I think she likes that. You know villains always lose, right? <laughs> Not this time. So this is seriously super cool seeing the view that they have up here in Edge. Oh man, and there's Donald. Saying hi to everyone. I think we still have a few more people getting on the ship. It's about 3.15, hopefully everyone's on board soon so we can do start the sailway party and get going. But we're on our way to check out Vibe. So it looks like Vibe, you go through deck four forward and you go through this hallway and here's the stairway to Vibe. Yeah. yeah like this. this is cool. 
This is so fun. Oh my goodness, this looks super cool. You got USB charging port. Looks like Tangled is playing right now. This screen. Oh my gosh. You can also like read in here probably. Yeah. This is so cool. Wow, this is huge. Oh my gosh. There is so much in here. Looks like they got the Wii here. Two levels of couches here with bean bags, Wii. They have another game system here where you can sit on these chairs and play. You got Guitar Hero. Man, they have a lot of stuff here. You got two foosball tables. You got a whole other area here where they probably do games and other things like that. And then there's the um, bowl. Oh, wow. Look at <laughs> this is so awesome. So the sun deck is closed right now, so we can't take you out there. But that looks amazing. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. But that is so cool. They have their own chairs. Especially get some areas to hang out and they have looks like they have two hot tubs with a little bit of like a small pool you can take a dip in and this is like the very front of the ship dang so one of the counselors at edge actually told me how you don't have to come up here every day and take pictures of the schedule you can actually check on the app oh, okay so you go to explore you go all the way over here it's towards the end youth clubs and then there's edge and vibe and go to the wow. schedule and then you can like heart stuff so that you cool. want to and then the stuff that you want to attend and that you don't want to look at later you can heart it like i hearted all the heroes and villains things and go to my plans and it'll show up on there nice that's super cool yeah and here's where they post the schedule for the day but like Lindsay just said you can find it all in the app. Do you think you're gonna be hanging out more in here or in Edge? Oh, it depends. I'm not really sure because it'll be kind of weird to, act, to hang out with people who are like three years older than me. Yeah, that's true. But it'd also be weird to hang out with people who are three years younger than me. So I'm kind of in a you're weird right in the spot. Middle. Give both a try and see what you feel better about. Yeah, probably uh, in Vibe though because uh, later today in like, 30 minutes actually, I'm supposed to be here to meet some uh, girls whose moms agreed to meet up on the Facebook, yeah. Facebook. so uh, yeah, we'll be meeting up later, so hopefully I'll be able to form some friendships with them. Cool, awesome. Yeah. And then we'll never see the rest of the trip, huh? Probably. That's not true. So we made it outside on the pool deck, deck 11, and uh, Lindsay is all set for vibe. Alyssa is about to get on the aqua deck, and she is super excited. Lindsay, I think, is gonna head over to vibe to meet some of the kids that she was looking forward to connecting with before the sail away party. <sighs> Vacation starting, y'all. <laughs> there goes the Carnival Freedom. I think that's the Carnival ship where the smokestack lit on fire a couple months ago because it doesn't have the whale tail stack. I'm just excited we're on the Fantasy. <laughs> Hopefully they have a fun time, but I'm already loving our ship so much. That is not a pool I think I'll be going in. Oh my, this is very different. Wow. After seeing that pool, the Mickey pool, I think we'll be hanging out in the adult area pool. That was a child soup. <laughs> so many kids and it was not a big pool either. We're looking for soft serve and water, so I'm hoping they have banana. I see chocolate and vanilla. Alyssa got a good one. Good job, mine, not so much, it's a little sad. Looks like they only have chocolate and vanilla today. Hopefully they'll have banana soon. So we enjoyed our first saucer. Carrie it. just finished hers. She's smart, she's on her second cup of water. <laughs> Carrie's the water queen. I was thinking the hydration queen. Hydration queen may be better. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna be hanging out up here waiting for the silly party. We just can't wait to hear the horn. <laughs> that signals that vacation is starting. We are sailing away. There's Jetty Park and the port back there. Oh, so excited. The girls are in Vibe and Edge right now, and we just told them we'll meet them at our stateroom. 
maybe an hour before dinner. So it's so nice that they already feel comfortable on the ship. Yep. And I made Alyssa walk me down to the room and she already showed me where Edgewood is so she knows how to get there. Lindsay already did a bunch of stuff by herself. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, we just did a uh, Instagram live. But uh, it was fun just connecting with a few people on there. And we've already seen, I think, I don't know if we've mentioned this, we've already seen a few different people that follow our channel. And Lindsay, you think, had a girl go up to her and say, is your dad Chris Miller? Yeah, we watch your videos. We watch you guys vlog, which is super fun. I'm glad you felt good enough to say hi. She was happy to make a new friend, so. Yeah, yeah. Get to connect. Well, we're gonna go check to see if the store's open. And if not, I'm sure we'll figure something else to do because there's a lot to do on the ship. It's be, huge. I would be perfectly happy to stand here all day. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're looking out. We're like fairly far out and you could, yeah. it, the water's just so clear. Yeah. It's so nice. But we're walking through cabanas. It's not open right now. They're not serving food, but I was talking to one of the crew members here. He said, you can hang out in here throughout the day. Maybe you already knew this, but we didn't. But you can come in here, hang out, play cards, read. It's super quiet. The outside deck where you sit down and enjoy your meal if you're eating here at Cabana's is also open. And so if you just want a quiet place to come chill, come to Cabana's. This is really great. Love how peaceful it is here. Bye bye, Florida. So the store is just opened. It's a little before six. I think they open around 545. We are going to go inside and check out Mickey's main sale. And there's Carrie checking out the Fantasy oh. Spirit Jersey. That's really cool. Can't see a price though. You're not supposed to know the price. Yeah. You're just supposed to get it. Yeah, that's true. And what and about these? She even these? found some ears. I don't have any ears. I've never worn ears. Yeah, I've never been but a I big ear like, person. I kind of like these ones. Those are cute. We could ask you guys if, what you think, but we're going to buy it by the time you see us. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> true. We will make our decision by then. I think I like them with your, with your hair down. I like them. They do I'm match the color of your hair. I think I might. My hair's orange. It's yellow with gold. <laughs> Oh yeah, show yeah. your sweater. Oh, and I have this ornament that we might get. I got this sweatshirt. It's my favorite kind of sweatshirt, a thin sweatshirt. Which is really just a shirt with a hoodie. You're wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie has another shirt that I picked out. Oh, that, I like that teal. You're, you're a big teal person. I do like teal. I, I'm not that into sparkles. I, w I didn't see the sparkles until I looked up close. But That's one of the reasons I like is... this one. It doesn't have any sparkles. Yeah, and that is that is a pretty cool one. And my one spirit jersey I do have does have sparkles on it. Yeah, this one, if you catch the right light just right, you can see the sparkles. I, I like that teal though. But well, the thing is, that would look good with the sparkles in that. Matchy. You would be, oh, that's right, because it's got the teal in there. And unfortunately, they don't have the mug that I wanted. These are all the mugs they have right now. Just three or four or five different mugs but the blue one that says fantasy they don't have and they very well may not have it while we're here so that's a little bit of a bummer i was looking for lacy <laughs> oh that's cool disney cruise line captain mini yeah bib that's cute it is cute of course they have all the h2o stuff and it just looks fancier here i don't know if this is their new packaging or what and here's the shirt wall that shirt right there, that blue one in the middle is the one I want. They don't have my size, so they're gonna be looking out for it. All you gotta do is talk to one of the store employees. They'll make a note of it, and they'll message you in the app if they get it in. You're not gonna get those? No. All right. I, d I realized, I was thinking they were Disney Cruise, but they're not necessarily. That's true. Yeah. It's more of like a castaway, but it's yeah. Just, it's, it's like a vacation tropical, which I like. I just don't think I'm ever going to wear them either. You're but not someday, a big ear person. Someday I might find the right ears for I me. I think you want to be an ear person, but they have to be the right ears. Yeah, it's true. Yep. And of course you got the classic Captain Mickey shirts here. You got kids down there and adults up there. <sighs> Carrie's looking at ears again, trying to get the vibe. I'm not really into sparkles. I like them on other people. I just am not a very sparkly person. No, you're not. I don't know if you've insulted me or not. <laughs> um, I like this. I don't like this. Yeah, those sequins are I just, they're not you. They're not. Yep, not everyone's sparkly. Right. It's okay. They need to have ears for people who don't like to sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Look. Look at the little ears. Oh my gosh. In the back. That is adorable. So cute. So Justin and Lacey, we're just previewing things for you that yeah. you can look for when you come on board next on a Disney cruise. Super cute. <laughs>
Carrie's <laughs> Carrie's getting all the stuff that we picked out so far. We'll probably come back here with the girls, see if there's something they want to. I got my reusable bag, which we regretted not getting last time because I am sometimes a little too thrifty and I didn't want to, it's like we could just carry it back. But then we realized we kind of wanted the bag. It's only $1.25. It's perfect. Yep. I might want to get another one. Well, we are for sure moving. So we are in line for animators. We got our room all settled and this is definitely a different experience. Yeah. When we were on the Wonder in October, the seatings were staggered. So no one was showing up for dinner at the same time that you were showing up. I wasn't expecting this. Neither was I. Maybe this is normal. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. This is a full ship <laughs> or mostly full ship, I should say. What's up, Crash? Like you're trying to get a shelfie. Would you like a shelfie with me, Dee? Oh, totally. Oh, let's do it, Dee. And some spot. <laughs> awesome, Dee. You all cats have an awesome migration, Dee. Now we'll talk to some of you later, Dee. Clownfish, where are you? Swim over and say good day to your old pal Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, morsel up, mate. Fish are friends, not food. Delicious little friend. <laughs> so we sat down at Animator's Palette. We met our server team. We're excited to get to know them and uh, for them to get to know our tastes, I guess. We'll show you guys what we ordered in just a moment when we get our food. So far, we just chow down on the bread because I think we're really hungry. We had a really good lunch, but it was a while ago. We got lunch, I think, around 12.30, so it's 8 o'clock, 8.30. So at Animators on the Fantasy, we found out that the first night we have Turtle Talk with Crush on the screens all around us. And so it's a little bit different. We haven't experienced that before. Definitely a different feel than the Animators on the Wonder that we were on the first time we cruised. Truffle percets, can't wait. It's like a ravioli kind of, but instead it's a purse, so it's a percet. Oh, that looks amazing. Ooh, what's, what's that? The what? tomato tart. Ooh. This is the tomato tart with, um, I think it's phyllo and goat cheese. The salmon tartar. I already tried it. It's okay. It's got horseradish cream on there. A little spicy kicks. I got the black truffle pasta for sets and the serrano ham with cheese and a piece of bread here that's got some kind of tomato spread on it. Looks good. And we've got more. Say jaw. Jaw. Awesome, So the serrano ham is really good. Mix it with some cheese. It's really, really yummy like that. This bread is really good. It's like a breadstick with a tomato paste on it with some uh, herbs in it. It's really, really tasty. I love the tomato tart. It's so good. The pasta percets are also good, but they were not hot at all. Yeah, mine were a little bit lukewarm and mine were fish cold. Lukewarm cold. I tried to Alyssa's salmon tartare. I thought it was really good. She's not a huge fan of it. Oh, hey, buddy. I actually really like that salmon. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it does. All those flavors. It's got a really good dill flavor to it. And the, um, the horseradish cream on it is really good. Yeah. I have the baked potato with cheddar soup. It's very good. It has a really yummy flavor and nice and hot and really good texture. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a fondue flavor. Very good. I got the butternut squash soup and I already ate most of it because it's so good, but it has a, like a sour cream drizzle on top. But I just like butternut squash soup. It's the perfect fall soup. It's really good. So I think three out of the four of us got the grilled tenderloin. Are you excited for your tenderloin, Lissa? Oh gosh, the plate is hot. Mashed potatoes, carrots. Looks yummy. I got the grilled yeah. shrimp salad from the lighter side. It looks really good. Lindsay's not wasting any time. She's been waiting for her food. This is medium. It looks like medium rare, but... Yeah. Maybe I should have got medium. <laughs> you got medium rare? I got medium rare. Oh, Good luck. Thanks. Well, Lindsay did not get an appetizer, so she is hungry. I also got a side of rice. Because, you know, why wouldn't you get a side of rice with every meal, right? Exactly. Are you going to try to order a side of rice for breakfast? I don't know what there is. <laughs> <laughs> We have the cookies and cream sundae, which I took a bite of and it's delicious. We have the crunchy walnut cake, which I'm excited about because I remember I loved this last time. The lemon icebox pie, which everyone loves. Can't wait to have that either. This is new, we don't remember this. Apple crumble rice pudding. It's we, amazing. We think it's new. And we have chocolate fudge cheesecake. 
We got everything except for the deconstructed carrot cake. I've heard that's not the best. Well, we already had carrot cake today. no sugar added. Which sometimes those are good. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's a hot, hot rice pudding with apples on top and ice cream. Ooh, that sounds good. Very interesting. I love the walnut cake. I love chocolate and walnuts together. Try the cheesecake. It's like cheesecake on top with a fudge base. It's really good. Try the walnut cake. Mm. So it's chocolate on top, but it's got like this walnut crust on the bottom. That's the crunchy walnut part. You can try the lemon pie too. I honestly kind of wish that this had like ice cream or something with it. Is anyone else gonna have another? The lemon pie is good. I remember being a little bit lighter last time. Alyssa just wants to eat the little garnishes. That's all she really wants. Do you want it, Mom? No, I don't. <laughs> What, what do you think, Alyssa? How is that garnish? Good. Did you have your chocolate piece already? Hey, Linz, what dessert did you like the best? Honestly, I think I like the um, the apple rice pudding vanilla thing. No. It was really good. Um, everyone yelled at me because I had too much, apparently. <laughs> the lemon box cake was pretty good. It's kind of basic, in my opinion. And then the walnut cake, that was pretty good. Again, kind of basic. Like, not really surprising or unique, in my opinion. And then I did not try Alyssa's sundae, like the Oreo sundae, or the cheesecake, because I don't like cheesecake. Just to clarify, we yelled because... We didn't even yell. We had only ordered one of those, and it was almost all gone, and and two of us hadn't tried it yet. We spoke with purpose. You want to put it that way. <laughs> Our server came over and let us order another one, so yeah. now we've all tried it. I honestly really like that cookies and cream sundae. Really? It was really tasty, but I love ice cream, so... Um, probably the chocolate walnut cake? Yeah, I'd agree. I think that was my favorite. I'd agree too. Chocolate yeah. walnut cake. Let's say the entire bottom of the walnut, of the chocolate walnut cake. Yeah. Sadly. I think Alyssa likes the raspberry sauce and the garnish the best. Yep. Okay. Right, Alyssa? Yes. Well, let's go do a couple laps around the ship. Yeah. I'm tired. Actually, I think we're gonna go watch a little Maleficent. Lindsay's gonna go to Vibe to go do something up there. Well, I'm gonna watch Funnel Vision and then I'll head back. Ah, yes. Bye. Bye. See you later. Well, we finished dinner. We left the animator's palette, went up to the top pool deck, and we are going to hit up Funnel Vision for a little bit to watch a little bit of Maleficent. It is 10.16. Carrie and I are feeling a little bit tired. It's been a long day, but I think we're going to hang out here and watch a little bit of the movie together. Alyssa. Just ate dinner, what are you doing? Eating french fries. It's a Disney cruise, don't judge me. Trying to figure out what the towel animal is. It's a sweet dream? No. I'm not sure what that is. So they set up Alyssa's bed. What's above it? Your pan, Wendy Ricky. That's cool. So there's like different uh, constellations from the Peter Pan movie. Yeah. Fun. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <sighs> We're so tired. We are very tired. I'm. I am very tired. Yeah. Well, because you fell asleep during the movie on the deck. Did I? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is what tired Chris looks like. Yes. So we had an amazing day. It was. I feel like we've been on the ship for a few days, but... I know. I guess part of um, having done it before now is that you have some expectations. Yeah. And I think our expectations are just a little bit off since we were on an almost empty ship before. And so there is the really cool aspect of there being lots of people, so there's lots of excitement, but there's also just like so many people. Lots of people. But. I mean, they still do such a great job on Disney. I, I can't believe how fast they got that huge line through to dinner. Our first cruise, we had such amazing interactions with our yeah. wait staff from the first night. 
and we just we didn't get really a chance to know our wait staff yet so mm -hmm. i hope we will be able to they're so busy I yeah mean, they are working so hard and they did a fantastic job they're great but we didn't get to know them yet and we really look forward to getting to know them yeah. so we have so many more fun days to come tomorrow we're getting a massage really looking forward to that looking forward to share with you what that experience is like it's time to go to bed yeah because i'm tired good night <laughs> Gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, if you already are subscribing, we thank you so much. Just thanks for joining our adventure. We have lots of more fun stuff coming up and we just appreciate that you wanted to share it with us. So mm -hmm. thank you and take care. We'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye.